In November last year, when the mission team visited the Gundok Junior High School, Hannah had been married off to a middle-aged farmer and was pregnant. She was living in the man's house and was attending the same school with her stepchildren who are in the primary school. Even though married, teachers allowed her with the pregnancy to be in school. This was possible as the Ghana Education Service has been implementing the re-entry policy which enables teenage pregnant mothers to stay in school and even resume schooling after giving birth. Cases of teenage pregnancy, child marriage and elopement are rife in the area and Hannah was just one of them. Five months after the airing of the story, I returned to the school to assess the latest developments. Hannah will be due for delivery in two months. Stakeholders I engaged during my first visit moved in to rescue Hannah. The marriage has been dissolved and she is now back to her parents' house. The man who married Hannah has also been taxed by the district social welfare department to pay 150 cities monthly as Hannah's upkeep while catering for her antenatal service costs. The Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection as well as the Ghana Education Service dispatched delegations to engage Hannah's parents. We spelled out the consequence because we told Hannah that when she goes back to the man, though there are plans to arrest the man because it's a defilement case and defilement cases are criminal cases. So we spelled, we, 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 we took turns to explain to her and really she understood. With our support, it is my hope that Hannah will not go back to the man. Hannah is happy to have come back home. I'm sure that if I give birth, I'll come back to school. Her mother, Azuma Akolugu, said the decision to marry off her daughter should not have happened. She commended TV3 for intervening in her daughter's case. My dear pa, my son Koso, then Bia, a Bia, a big way as I cry, that's more. My super tuned for. Now my country has one here, you know, one here, sir. And say, Moya, son, I have pa, my gemino, young man, and Koso. Just say, Ya, 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 young Koso. I am named the Bia, said the SCTN. Head teacher of the Gundog Junior High School wants measures intensified by the community to avoid exposing girls to early marriages. The man was also warned that he would have even um, gone to jail, but I think it's like the girl more or less uh, supported uh, him a bit because the girl was not willing to just come out and boldly to say that, oh, maybe it's a forced marriage or else. The, the girl, but when we met a social welfare and they questioned her, she, she said it was her own will. But earlier on, she said she was forced to uh, marry. Uh, so it's like she was not trying to come out uh, clearly. So that was where uh, the man was a little bit considered. Agnes Anamu is the Nabdam district chief executive. Let's forget child education is on the plan. Teenage pregnancy and all those is on the plan. So the basis. Before we have an assembly meeting, we have ESICO, we have a committee meetings. Then we bring an education committee meeting is there. Then they bring all this. We sit on an ESICO meeting before we go for assembly meeting. And when we go for assembly meeting, we put the tax on them too. Now, it's not only the social welfare that goes out. Me like this, if there's any deba. They invite us all over festivals. If there's any deba, I have to put it in girl child education. The importance there. It means even the chiefs nowadays they themselves they put it there. Dr. Mark Ket Nawani represents the people of Nabdam in the legislature. If the economic situation is bad, your children should not be the chips or the, the, the pawns in the game. They should be out of the equation. They should they should find a different way of solving the economic problems and not your girl child giving her out for marriage and uh, you take two cows or three cows for how long can this uh, can this cow take care of you you sell them uh, within a matter of a month or two uh, it's over
the chiefs and people have to also take it up. In their festivals, meetings, we need to be talking about some of these issues so that it comes out and then um, everybody picks it up. Hannah is hoping to undergo safe delivery so she will come back to continue her education. Stanley Nibleu, TV3 News, Gundog, Nabdam.